Today we're making spaghetti al limone, which is one of my summer favorite pastas. Spaghetti al limone is a perfect summer dish. It's citrusy, it's refreshing, and the best thing, it just takes about 10 minutes to cook. So let's get cooking. For the ingredients, you have a knob of butter, the best lemons you can get, some fresh parsley, garlic, chili, pecorino, extra virgin olive oil, and your favorite spaghetti. It takes so little time, but the first thing to do is literally boiling the pasta. And then we get to start preparing it. We start with the garlic, we take one clove. This has to feel a little bit of garlicky, so we're gonna use two cloves. Cut them in the middle. As usual, we remove the sole of the garlic, which is this thing here. This is a little bit bitter, it's a bit harder to digest. We don't want it in our dish. And of course we take the skin out. Just give it a quick slice. We then slice a little bit of chili. Here, depending on how strong you like it, this chili is not very chilly, so we can put up a bit more. Then extra virgin olive oil, we start warming it up in a wok. And what I love about this recipe is the fragrance of the lemon. Choosing the right lemon is so important. This recipe originally comes from Sorrento. Sorrento is in Campania near Naples, and they make the most amazing lemons. They're big, they're very citrusy they smell fantastic i couldn't find sorrento lemons here in london but i tried to get the best lemon i could get and how do you know when it's a good lemon it's easy you just go like this and if it smells citrusy it's fragrant then you got the right lemon first the garlic and then the chili we're gonna keep the heat low because we want the oil to start getting all these fragrances just like that with the water in a rolling boil, we salt it, and in with the pasta. And at this point, we add butter, big chunk of butter, and that leaves us time to cut some parsley. Let's go. Take our parsley, and we just start chopping it up. It doesn't have to be super thin. It's actually quite like when it's not. So we just, just coarsely, like so. With the parsley chopped, now we get ready for the lemon. We probably just need half of this. So push it around like this. This breaks up the fiber. It's a lot easier to get the juice out. Cut it in half. Just like that. Look how beautiful this is. Oh, pasta is nearly ready. So we're gonna squeeze half a lemon. Just keep your hand underneath so you can catch any seeds if there are any. Quick mix. Now it's time to move the pasta into our wok. So we let it finish cook here, get this wonderful lemon flavor, ladle of pasta water. As you cook, it's always good to learn how to make the pasta jump like this, because apart from being a bit showy and being able to seduce your other half, the reality is that it actually has a purpose. What you're doing is that you're letting the fat from the oils and the butter mix with the starch and you're gonna add air into it, and that helps to create creaminess. And we all want nice creamy spaghetti. Look at that. Can you see all this creaminess? This is fantastic. Now it's towards the end, so we add our parsley. Parsley always towards the end because if it cooks, it becomes bitter. And we don't want it to become bitter. Just a touch more. And we are done. Look at this. Look how creamy we made our pasta. Yeah? Okay, let's plate it up. A little bit of lemon zest to top it up. And then this is a little bit of controversy in my house. I love some pecorino romano on top. My wife doesn't, I'll leave that up to you. Ah, oh, isn't this gorgeous? Before I taste this glorious dish, let me just remind you of two little things you need to be careful when cooking with lemon. The lemon juice towards the end. If you put it too early, it cooks too much and it becomes bitter. Also the parsley at the end, and always top it up with a little bit 
of lemon zest. Ooh, this is, it's so fragrant. Look at this. Do you wanna have a bite? Nah, it's all mine. Mm. Pretty awesome. Buon appetito.